What's up? Welcome to JC Kids. We're so excited to have you with us. If you don't know me, my name's David, and I'm our JC Kids pastor. We're in our fourth lesson in our series called Strap Up, and we're learning all about the whole armor of God. First, we learn that we have an enemy, someone who's out to beat us, to defeat us, to destroy our lives, and his name is, well, the devil. But God has given us tools to defeat the devil, to win at life. And we've learned about two of those already. The first we learned about was the belt of truth. We learned that we have to put on the belt of truth, that truth holds everything together. Then last week, we learned about the breastplate of righteousness. We learned that our heart is so important that we have to guard our heart. And the way that we guard our heart, the way that we protect our heart is by doing the right things. This week is so exciting because we are learning about not one, but two pieces of the armor of God. And that brings us to today's super main point. Today's super main point is faith keeps us safe and God's word is our sword. I want you to say that with me. Are you ready? All right. Faith keeps us safe. God's word is our sword. Today, we're learning about the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. And we have our verse. It comes from our passage in Ephesians chapter 6. Let's check it out. Ephesians 6:16 6, says, In every situation, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now, some things just go together. They naturally are just a pair or a set or just two things that have to be put together. Like, for example, if I were thinking of peanut butter, what would you guess that would go together with that? Jelly, that's right, peanut butter and jelly. Or if I said, uh, goes together like cereal and milk, that's right, cereal and milk. Or let's do one more. If I said like uh, pencils, go with paper, good. So pencils and paper, peanut butter and jelly, cereal and milk. These things just go together. Well, in football, two things that go together are offense and defense. You need them both. You can't have just one. And that's the same thing with the sword of the spirit and the shield of faith. They go together, just like peanut butter and jelly, just like pencils and paper, just like cereal and milk. They are our offense and our defense to beat the devil, to win at life. So in football, you have offense and defense. Offense is the part of the team that tries to score. They try and take the ball and maybe throw it or run it down the field. They wanna score touchdowns. In defense, they're the part of the team that keeps the other team's offense from scoring. So you have to have both, they work together. Now, the devil, he doesn't want us to win at life. He has a plan for our lives that isn't good like God's plan. The devil doesn't love us, and the devil actually wants to ruin our lives. In our offense and defense against him, well, we learn about it in a story from the life of Jesus. It comes from Matthew chapter 4. In Matthew chapter 4, we see the story of the devil coming to tempt Jesus three times, and how Jesus used these pieces of the armor of God to beat the devil all three times. First. The devil tried to get Jesus to turn some stones into bread. Jesus had been fasting. Fasting is when you choose not to eat for a while so that you can focus on God and depend on God even more than you already do. And that's what Jesus was doing while he was praying. And so the devil said, if you're really the son of God, turn these stones into bread. Well, Jesus, he used the shield of faith and he used the sword of the spirit. He used the shield of faith because he trusted that God would provide for him, not the devil, and not even himself. He trusted that when God was ready for him to eat, he would provide food. So Jesus had faith in God. And then Jesus used the sword of the spirit, which is God's word, and he quoted scripture. Jesus said, it's written, 
Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God's mouth. Then the devil took Jesus up to the top of a really tall building. And the devil said, if you're really God, if you're really who you say you are, throw yourself off this building because God could protect you or heal you even if you fell and hurt yourself. But Jesus, once again, trusted God and trusted God's timing that God could heal him, but it was when God chose to do that and when God led Jesus to do miracles. So Jesus had faith and then Jesus again quoted scripture. Jesus said, it's written in the Bible, don't test the Lord your God. Last, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain and he showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil told Jesus, if you'll only worship me, then I'll give you all these kingdoms. I'll give you the whole world. Well, Jesus, he had faith. He had the shield of faith and he held up the shield of faith because he knew that in God, Jesus would one day rule the whole world. And so he used the shield of faith and trusted God's plan, not the devil. And then he used the sword of the spirit. He said, go away, Satan. He said, go away, devil, because it's written to only worship the Lord your God, the one true God. We see in this story three times Jesus was tempted to do wrong. And all three times, Jesus responded with the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit that's the word of God. Jesus trusted God and Jesus trusted God's plan for his life. And he showed that faith when he was tempted by the devil. Jesus used the shield of faith and he stopped the devil from scoring. And then he took the sword of the spirit, the word of God and attacked the devil and beat the devil and scored on the devil. In our lives, we're tempted just like Jesus was. Maybe we're tempted to think God doesn't really love me or have a good plan for my life. But when we are tempted to believe that, we hold up the shield of faith and we say, I know that God loves me and has a good plan for my life and I trust God. And we show our faith in God. And then we use the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God to attack that temptation, attack those thoughts and say, actually scripture, the Bible tells us that God has a plan for me, that he loves me, that before I was even born, God knew me and made me for a purpose. Maybe we're tempted to do something wrong, like tell a lie. Well, in those moments, we can use the shield of faith to say, I trust that telling the truth is always right. I have faith in God's plan that he's gonna bless me for telling the truth. Then we hold up the sword of the spirit. We see that scripture tells us that when we lie, it hurts God. And that when we tell the truth, it makes God rejoice, it makes God happy. These two things together is how we win. It's how we beat the devil when he attacks us. We use our defense, the shield of faith, to, to stop the devil's attacks. And then we use the sword of the spirit, God's holy word, and we attack back. We go score on the devil and we win at life. Well, thanks so much for checking out JC Kids Online. Before you go, I'd encourage you to check out our family discussion sheet. It's got some questions and some activities you can do together as a family that will help you discuss this lesson. It's really cool. We just redesigned it and I know you'll love it so much. We also have our series song. It's called The Full Armor of God and it's so much fun. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us here at JC Kids Online. We want you to know that whether you're joining us here in person or online or both, we love you and we're so proud of you and we hope to see you soon.